Hello dinosaur fans and welcome back to Nerd Doc. In this video, we're going to explain the Jurassic World Dominion ending as well as some of the major plot points. There will be spoilers for Jurassic World Dominion. This is your spoiler warning. There are chapter timestamps if you want to skip straight to the ending, and if you have any questions about the movie, leave a comment below. We can't show you any footage beyond what's in the trailers because the film is only in theaters, so please bear with us there. After Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, dinosaurs are now everywhere. They are simply a part of everyday life across the world. There's even black market breeding and selling of dinosaurs, which is where we pick up with Claire. She's sneaking into a black market breeding farm to get the evidence she needs to shut them down, which she does with an anonymous tip to the authorities. Claire is living with Owen in a cabin somewhat off the grid, while Maisie Lockwood, the clone of Charlotte Lockwood, has basically become their adopted daughter. Blue is also living in the forest nearby and has a young raptor offspring named Beta. Blue was originally created to be able to self-reproduce without the need of a mate, similar to Charlotte Lockwood and how she had Maisie without a partner. Biosyn Genetics, run by Lewis Dodson, has created a sanctuary for the roaming dinosaurs, which is basically the new Jurassic Park, but isn't open to the public. Biosyn has been actively trying to round up the dinosaurs to varying degrees of success. Dr. Henry Wu works for Biosyn and created a dinosaur locust hybrid that is now decimating the world's crops. Well, all except for the crops that grew from seeds Biosyn created, which are basically immune to the dino locusts. There's no explanation on how they're immune, but it likely has to do with the aroma they give off, with the dino locust not being attracted to or potentially even repelled by the aroma. Biosyn hires a team to capture Blue's offspring and Maisie Lockwood and bring them back to the sanctuary. They use pilot Kayla Watts to bring in Blue's offspring, with Soyona Santos taking charge of the delivery and having her own team bring in Maisie separately to avoid any potential problems with one cargo affecting the other, such as the delivery being intercepted by the authorities or Beta getting loose and potentially killing Maisie. Ramsey Cole is working directly under Lewis Dodson at Biosyn and finds out about the Dino Locust. Ian Malcolm is also employed by Biosyn, but he mainly just speaks to other employees in special breakout sessions like a famous author would do. Ramsey tells Malcolm what's going on in an effort to stop Biosyn's plan. Ian reaches out to Ellie Sattler for help, offering her a way inside the private Biosyn facility. Ellie then reaches out to Alan Grant, and the two head to Biosyn to meet up with Ian. Meanwhile, Claire reaches out to Franklin Webb, who works for the CIA Dangerous Species Division, who are tracking black market agents and attempting to put a stop to them. Franklin's intel leads him to an underground black market area, where they run into CIA agent Barry Simbean, who helps them infiltrate the black market district just a short flight from Biosense facility. This is also close to where Soyona met up with Kayla to take delivery of Blue's offspring and Maisie. Soyona uses the laser pointer raptors from Fallen Kingdom to attack Claire, Owen, and Barry. Claire and Owen run into Kayla the pilot, who agrees to take them to Biosyn after feeling bad about seeing Maisie during the delivery with Soyona, but not doing anything to stop her from going to Biosyn. All three of them take off in Kayla's old plane, but Biosyn unleashes dinosaurs, forcing the plane to crash. Biosyn had a sonic barrier of sorts set up so that the various flying dinosaurs don't fly above a certain altitude, and therefore don't just fly away from the sanctuary. Biosyn turns that off when they see Kayla's plane, which allows the dinos to attack it. Before the plane crashes, Claire gets away with the only available parachute, falling into the sanctuary and setting up a scene that calls back to Jurassic Park 3, while Owen and Kayla crash the plane into some ice. Of course, they survive without so much as a scratch, and eventually meet up with Claire within the sanctuary. Meanwhile, Dr. Grant and Ellie meet up with Ian Malcolm inside the Biosyn facility. Ian gives them an access key, and Alan and Ellie head down to where the dino locusts are being made. Ellie gets the DNA sample she needs, then the two of them run into Maisie, and they all escape on a Hyperloop transport with the help of Ramsey. Lewis Dodgson discovers what's going on, stops the Hyperloop, and fires Ian Malcolm. Lewis decides to get rid of the evidence and tries to burn all the dino locusts in the facility. However, they escape and set fire to most of the sanctuary, triggering emergency protocols. All employees are evacuated while the dinos are moved from the burning sanctuary into the courtyard area of the neighboring facility. Dodgson tries to escape using the Hyperloop but ends up dying almost exactly like Nedry in Jurassic Park. As an easter egg, Dodgson grabs a fake shaving cream canister Nedry used to steal all the dino DNA from the original Jurassic Park, and it's lost just before Dodgson dies, meaning we're getting more Jurassic movies if Dominion makes enough money. 
All of the heroes meet up, but they have to reroute the power in order to reactivate the aerial dampening field so they can avoid the aerial dinos and safely fly out of the area. Ellie and Claire go down to make the power adjustments, and we get a scene somewhat similar to Arnold's power scene in Jurassic Park, although much less intense since they're only walking through burning dino locusts instead of being hunted by raptors. The movie ends with all the heroes getting out, along with Dr. Wu, who uses the DNA of Blue's baby, as well as Maisie's clone DNA, to create a dino locust that will infect and kill off all the dino locusts that were decimating the world's crops. The former Biosyn Sanctuary is turned into a new kind of natural Jurassic Park that will not be open to the public, but allows the dinos to have their own place to roam on Earth, even though there are a ton of roaming dinosaurs still out there all over the world. The only main character who dies is Lewis Dodgson, as every other main character survives, including all the legacy characters and Dr. Wu. To explain the ending in more detail, Biosyn's plan was to decimate the world's crops so that the world would have to rely solely on Biosyn seeds to grow crops and survive. If this were to happen, Biosyn would have complete control over the world, and it would only cost a few million lives to starvation in the process. They are also using dinosaur DNA to create cures to all the world's worst diseases, with Maisie's clone DNA helping to accelerate this process. Dr. Wu, who created the dino locusts, feels bad about what he's done and turns against Biosyn to correct the problem. By creating a cancerous mutation within the DNA of a single locust, it will breed with the other locusts and eventually cause them all to die out instead of multiplying and destroying crops until there's nothing left but Biosyn crops. Dr. Wu needed the clone DNA from Maisie because Charlotte Lockwood was able to cause a similar mutation within Maisie to cure a genetic disease Charlotte had passed down to her. Dr. Wu used the same science with the reverse effect of killing off all the dinosaur locusts instead of curing any ailments. That covers the basic plot points and ending of Jurassic World Dominion. If you have any questions or would like an even more detailed explanation of specific plot points, leave a comment below and we'll respond as best we can. It does seem as though we'll get another Jurassic film at some point, but with only Nedry's canister to go off of, they could go in almost any direction with it. Feel free to let us know how you'd like the next Jurassic movie to play out in the comment section. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with someone who loves Jurassic World.